don't try and intimidate anybody. Uh, you know, if anything, they probably try and intimidate me, but it doesn't work. I feel like a rider, just normal, everyday stuff. Alpine Star Boots take the beating the best, I'd have to say. Jeremy McGrath is undeniably the most successful rookie ever in the history of Supercross. Jeremy makes winning races look as easy as riding a bicycle. Jeremy's number one plate speaks for itself. But what about behind the scenes, training and nutrition? Here's an example. At the beginning of the season, Jeremy was riding tight and suffering arm pump. It was suggested that he might need more magnesium and fluids. Jeremy tried Endura before the Anaheim race and the rest is history. Endura is not just another grocery store sports drink. Endura is the only complete electrolyte drink with magnesium that's so high tech it has a U.S. patent. The magnesium in Endura has been proven to improve strength, performance, concentration, and has been shown to eliminate muscle cramping and arm pump. Endura can be found in better motorcycle shops across the nation. Endura, race fuel for your body. The following Showtime video contains outrageous racing, playwriting, and stunt motorcycle riding and has been compiled for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt to copy or duplicate any riding technique or stunt in this video as serious injury may result. This video is for entertainment purposes only and is not an instructional video. Be smart, wear the appropriate motorcycle racing gear, and enjoy this video as entertainment only. Supercross sensation, Jeremy McGrath. This original Moto Video program is brought to you by Honda, the Supercross champion for six years in a row. Alpine Stars, top rider attitude. Endura, race fuel for your body. Cinesalo, sports gear for the 90s. Cone Limon, the original beer with a squeeze of lime. And aggression active wear. Attitude is everything. The Dueling Jeremy's is brought to you by Endura. Race fuel for your body. Sun City, California.
This rustic home was built in the late 1800s by Jeremy's grandparents and is right next door to Jeremy's childhood home that still has imprints of Jeremy's earlier race days. In back of the house is the place where Jeremy and his friends learned to ride motorcycles on his private supercross track. Jeremy still visits the track, and today he's invited us to join he and his mechanic, Skip Norfolk, for some play riding. Let's check it out. Sure is a beautiful day out here for riding. I think I'm going to go tear some laps up on my supercross track. Bike ready, Skip? Sure is. How about you? Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, who's this out here on the track? I don't know. We better go find out. Hey! Hey! Hey, man. What are you doing right now here? Hey, man. I'm Jeremy Buell. It's America. Free country. I can ride wherever I want. You're not supposed to be riding out here. This is private property. This is my supercross track and yeah. no one's allowed here. The only way I'll leave is if you race me one lap. The winner stays and the loser goes. All right. You're on. Hey, man. I'll see you at the starting line. All right. Got my Alpine Star boots, my Cinesolo gloves, my helmet and goggles. I think I'm ready, Skip. No, you're not. Forgot your secret weapon. Endura, race fuel for your body. Showtime, Skip. Let's go. Number 48, Jeremy Buell from Loudoun, Ohio, riding for Lancaster Sports Cycle in 1993 on his YZ250. Jeremy's been riding for 14 years since he was six years old and is currently looking for a factory ride. Jeremy met McGrath in 1990 at the LA East-West Supercross Shootout and since that time the two have remained racing rivals and personal friends. Jeremy Buell is looking to smoke McGrath in order to preserve his right to ride on McGrath property. Let's go to Larry Myers for the race call of the Dueling Jeremy's. Thank you, David. Why honor the right to ride at stake? Jeremy McGrath with a secret ingredient. Endura grabs the hole shot around the first corner. Buell with an inside line tried to block McGrath. McGrath said no way. Through some of the most vicious whoops in Southern California, a right-hander, and Buell nailed McGrath. He tried a T-bone. McGrath cut the course, come right back on top of Buell. Now up over the top of the huge triples. 90 feet in the air. Buell almost hits the Honda truck. McGrath looks back. He sees Buell's front wheel, and he grabs a handful of throttle and says goodbye Jeremy Buell this is my track this is my land he grabs an inside corner says this one is over Bruce time a wave of the arm that race is history yes Buell get off my land get out of here I'll be back McGrath <laughs> McGrath inches out of victory on his private supercross track as Jeremy Buell is sure to let McGrath know there will be another day, another circumstance, another track. You haven't seen the last of this rivalry. A Day in the Life is brought to you by Sinisalo, race gear for the 90s. Murrieta, California, home of Jeremy McGrath. Jeremy's home reflects the simple, well-rounded basics that he learned from his family growing up. Inside, he has very little furniture, but throughout the house, he has on display the many trophies, pictures, and memorabilia of his young racing career. Over just seven short years, Jeremy has collected several reminders that took him from 125cc racing to the country's premier 250 Supercross star. Motorcycle industry publications worldwide have graced Jeremy with articles and photos depicting his tremendous Supercross talent. Supercross riders are attracted to Jeremy for his performance and his open, down-to-earth personality. Natural talent and good nature is why Jeremy McGrath wins big bucks. Jeremy may be hip on simplicity, but he's not closed to comfort. His backyard sports this built-to-suit swimming pool, perfect for after testing. Where the bikes end, the jet skis pick up. His weekend trips to the lake are a refreshing break. This one's a gift from no fear and is well used for sure. Jeremy's well aware that with hard-earned gifts, the responsibility to maintain them is important. 
So don't be surprised if one day you happen by the house and Jeremy would be busy doing the household chores, cleaning the pool, doing laundry, or organizing his room. After racing all weekend or working all morning, noon rolls around and it's time for breakfast, usually spent with his roommate and friend. Don't be surprised to find them scarfing the bachelor favorite, homemade eggs, tortillas, folded in between an English muffin, otherwise known as the tasty McGrath McMuffin. Just down the road, say six to ten miles, that is if you don't get lost, is the McGrath Corporate Headquarters, located in picturesque Sun City, California, and fronting as an auto repair operation. The McGrath Empire is headed by Ann, Mom McGrath, the chief financial officer, in charge of keeping Jeremy's ends met and schedules correct. No secretaries, fancy cars, high-ended computer systems, just Ann, a pencil, and a phone, a classic homespun corporate setting. Let's not forget Jack. Dad McGrath, Jeremy's inspiration and part-time mechanic, and Sister Tracy, keeping the home front clear for new business opportunities. You'd think that since Jeremy's championship, the auto repair shop would be booming, but this is what we found out. Uh, Jeremy's success has probably cost me man hours rather than made me man hours. I have daily people come in here and want to talk about Jeremy, and uh, basically that takes me away from my production time. But it's enjoyable, and I'm kind of a, a low-pressure shop here, so I, I can work late, I can work early. It doesn't make much difference. So it's Ann running the shop, Jack under the bike, and sister cheering him on, and all three watching Jeremy win races in style. Then just being there at the finish line with love and support, celebrating him home. Leaving Jeremy McGrath with plenty of room for giving back to his fans that are getting used to watching him win, too. We talked to Jack about Jeremy's racing career and assembled some photos from the library of ace photographer Kenny Jones to give you a brief picture of Jeremy's incredible past. memory of a motorcycle in our life together, uh, I assume would be when he was about uh, six or seven months old. Um, we had an enduro bike that we used to ride in the streets in San Francisco, and uh, he loved to go to the beach. You don't win eight races with luck. <laughs> At about a year old, we bought him these big wheels, and we lived in San Francisco on a hill. So. When you have guys that are 14 years old coming down to ask a two-year-old to go out and play, uh, you begin to be pretty nervous about what they're doing. So we'd sit in the front window and watch these kids on the sidewalk, and they'd be setting up jumps. You don't win eight races. And he'd be going 35 miles an hour down the sidewalk, hitting these jumps at like two years old, three years old. We moved from San Francisco when he was four, and he probably wore out five big wheels and 